Hello everyone and welcome to this last part of this lesson dedicated to emergency plans for cultural heritage institutions. In this last section, we will discuss some peculiarities of the specific case uh, study of the Museum of Bolzano that in some way forced us to have to reimagine the emergency plan to build a tailor-made itinerary for the museum. This leads us to think about a very important concept. Although it is absolutely desirable to identify an internationally recognized standard emergency plan model, we must remember that it is very difficult to be able to apply a single model for all existing museums in Europe. Think of what an immense variety of museums, archives and libraries exists uh, in, our, in our area. It is therefore always important to know how to adapt one's emergency plan to the specific situation and the particular needs of an institution. So the first peculiar feature of the museum will seem very trivial to you, but in reality, it leads us to introduce a very, very important concept. The museum is located inside a building that was purposely built to be a museum building. And this situation is not very common, especially in Italy, where museums are usually housed in historic buildings. Historic buildings, however wonderful they are and bring with them a very important history for the country, often represent a problem for the risk management and safety of the artworks. These spaces, in fact, are often not equipped with the safety systems necessary for the protection of the artworks. Having a museum in a space built specifically for the conservation and exhibition of artworks, on the other hand, allows many advantages from the point of view of risk management. First of all, the museum is already equipped with all the basic security systems, such as alarms, fire extinguishers, fireproof doors, compartmentalization of spaces, and so on. Furthermore, museum environments are suitable for the conservation of artworks. In fact, the microclimate is controlled and the spaces are specifically designed for the placement of artworks in all of its shapes and sizes. Finally, a newly constructed building such as the museum makes it possible to satisfy important requirements from the point of view of environmental sustainability. In fact, the museum as it was built is a low environmental impact building with systems that allow the use of renewable energy, in particular solar energy. Another important element that led us to have to imagine a tailor-made solution is the fact that the museum works only and exclusively with temporary exhibition. In fact, the museum does not have a permanent collection mm -hmm. on display. The permanent collection is in fact kept in the deposits and the artworks are inserted in rotation within the various temporary exhibition that are organized inside the museum's areas. And this situation entails some difficulties from the point of view of creating an emergency plan. First of all, uh, this makes it extremely difficult to create a priority list of works that is always valid in every situation. The overall um, works conserved within the museum change continuously due to due to um, the continuous incoming loans. Secondly, 
depending on a specific setup for each individual exhibition, vulnerabilities and the overall risk profile can vary. For example, the museum is equipped with movable walls that can be moved and rearranged according to the exhibition. Therefore, depending on the, or on the organization of the spaces, the distribution of risk can be extremely different. Finally, it is important to consider that museum works above all with contemporary artworks, um, which are often made with unconventional materials whose life cycle is not fully known. So for this reason, it is difficult to predict all the risks that may affect a specific work of art. The solution that Mazzini Lab have imagined to solve this situation is the following. We have created an emergency plan for the entire museum that takes into account the works of art kept inside the depot and a standard temporary exhibition setup. Secondly, we have created a specific document that the museum staff must fill out for every and each single temporary exhibition to describe the level of risk of the single event. The document is constructed as a checklist that allows museums operators to think about the differences between a temporary exhibition and the standard setup identified in the emergency plan. So here are some of the elements that must be reported in these temporary uh, exhibition document. For example, any differences in the overall setup of the exhibition areas with the notification of any movement of the security systems. Any kind of addition to the priority list uh, of works that are temporarily on loan and any changes to elements such as surveillance, alarms, security systems, methods of access to the public, method of accessing of the external companies, and so on. In this way, the emergency plan is updated for each temporary exhibition without forcing the staff to start all over again every two or three months for each temporary exhibition. And we think that this is an efficient solution that allows emergency planning to be sustainable in the long term and to be integrated into the daily plan planning activities of an exhibition without being too impactful on the amount of work performed. That was it for this lesson. Thank you very, very much for your attention and enjoy the rest of the course.